In this Flash and ActionScript 3 lesson, we'll demonstrate how to create a tiny MP3 player with to the beat visualizations. And the code for this project is located directly under where the video is playing at developphp.com. Uh, you can go to developphp.com, click the Flash tab, look for this tutorial in the list, click it, and where the video is playing, scroll down underneath it, and you'll see the code that you can copy and paste directly into your player script layer right here. Okay and another thing to realize is in the code we're referring song.mp3 that needs to live in the same directory the same folder where this SWF is going to wind up so this song.mp3 needs to live in the same folder if your mp3 is named uh, cool jam mp3 you want to rename it song.mp3 and then put it in the same folder as this SWF after you publish it okay so the first thing we're going to do is create the skin and that is uh, well let's look at our canvas size first we have 148 by 24 pixels is our canvas size and it's set to black background uh, we're going to click our skin layer and drag out a rectangle and what before we drag that out let's see we're going to make sure we have a fill and a border so let's give it a border of not so white and a fill of not so black and then draw out the rectangle on stage any size double click it to get the fill and the border highlighted and put it at an X position of 1 and a Y position of 1 keep it double clicked and resize it to 146 pixels wide and 22 pixels high that way it's going to fill our stage completely and leave no uh, edges that can be seen on the outside okay now we have uh, our skin we're gonna punch a window in it to create the uh, the area where the visuals are gonna display through so let's grab another rectangle tool and draw it out not so big this time keep it nice and thin and now let's change the the fill color on that but to do that we have to double click it let's double click it change the fill color to anything you want that's not the same color as that gray so it doesn't blend right in and then we'll double click the, the whole symbol there and drag it down and drag it into place and then click outside of it and then click the fill only press control X and you'll see that you've punched a window in this gray now you have a border around the window which is nice now we can click the buttons layer go up into window oh, let me show you what I'm doing here let's drag up click window common libraries buttons and in that little window you're gonna click uh, playback rounded double click it to open the folder and drag out rounded gray stop and rounded gray play and put them on stage there and close that window out now get those lined up to where they're even and select both of them by right or left clicking one holding select or holding shift rather holding down shift and select the other select both of them together hit the free transform tool grab a corner hold shift and resize them any size you want I want them nice and small to fit up in my player there so make them nice and small put them into place wherever they look right and give this play button an instance name of play btn and a stop button give that an instance name of st stop btn so we have play btn and stop btn are the buttons we have a window open and that's it we're good to go uh, you can make this thing a lot prettier you can make these movie clip buttons to make them uh, have uh, animated effects uh, you can make this thing look like whatever you want punch this hole wherever you want along this uh, image and put the buttons wherever you want on but that's about it we'll see you next lesson